channel. My name is Brian and today we have the pleasure of having Natalie join us. Thank you Natalie for taking the time and giving us a tour of your van. Thank you. I'm always happy to show my van. That's excellent. <laughs> it's a work of art. It is and I, but, I first you know, saw it. You work so much on a van. It's like oh, a year of uh, building. Of your life. Yes. Yeah, and it is a beautiful van. It's definitely caught my eye. I, I was walking by and I saw it. We had already seen met each other beforehand, and I was just enamored with it. I was thought it was such a clean, beautiful build. So I'm excited about getting to see it, letting our people watching get to see it, and so very excited. Thank now, you. What kind of vehicle is this? Uh, this is a Dundrum Promaster 2018. It's the 136 wheelbase, the shortest wheelbase. Okay. I decided to go with the shortest wheelbase because I live in, I, I was building, while I was building the van, I was in Montreal and parking in Montreal is probably the worst city in North America. It's complex, the signage is complex. Uh, you have vignettes, neighborhood vignettes, and it's really hard. And even with a vignette, you have a hard time parking. I understand, yeah, so that just makes it a smaller wheelbase because it is very short. It's one of the shorter ones I've seen. I'm, I'm very impressed, so. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a tour. Let's go ahead. All right, let's go. So it's a short uh, wheelbase, It's, uh, I, but I wanted to put as much as I could into it because I live uh, full-time in the van. That was the plan. Uh, so I wanted to have a dinette and um, you know, a good sized kitchen because I'm vegan and I, I'm, I'm plant-based whole food. I'm not vegan because vegan implies that you don't have leather and stuff like that, but I'm all food plant-based and I needed space to cook and I cook a lot. Very uh, nice. So this is the kitchen area. That's the dinette area. Okay. And it's also where I sit to draw. That's my drawing um, oh. lamp at night. It's a USB powered lamp. It's really brilliant. It, now, what kind of art do you do? Um, I do all kinds of drawings. I draw on uh, uh, watercolor, acrylic, um, acrylic and uh, water, the gouache. There's a new kind, all kinds of um, uh, drawings, mostly drawings, because you can't do oil painting in a van. <laughs> Very hard. Yeah, a lot of materials, right? Yeah, and right now I don't have my sewing material. I also do cushions and stuff, but I don't have anything. Okay. I don't have enough space <laughs> for it, this. And I could probably put some stuff underneath the bed, but it's hard to get there. So <laughs> yeah, I decided sense. not to. Okay, I sleep. I'm tall and the bed is a little short, so Okay, th there's a shuffle every night. This all goes on the counter in the kitchen. Okay. And I remove and I sleep like this. Lily's in that corner. And uh, this is to protect actually my linens because Lily sometimes jumps with her wet paw. <laughs> and this of is kind of, it's kind of waterproof, so it's perfect. So with the bed then, so you're sleeping side to side. Yeah, my head goes there and I have like my um, linen, uh, not linen, uh, clothing, closet here. It's a real closet uh, for the coats. I have all my coats here. There's a rod that is actually um, a post for, a. you know, when you have a um, balcony, it's a balcony oh, thing okay. and it's bolted here. Very and good. then I have these baskets. And I had to put a ton of little felt thing because they kept falling and I had to refold all the time. They could all fall at once. I can still pull it out, but it doesn't fall as much. When you go around corners. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to have, a, I have a lot of books. I have a, I still have a storage. Uh, I couldn't get rid of everything. So I have my favorite books in there. I have my favorite uh European comic strip. Okay. <laughs> They're actually uh, graphic novels. If I don't have any internet, I can always read uh, a graphic novel and it will put me to sleep. I have my Wobasto control right in the corner so that okay. if I wake up in the middle of the night and it's really cold in the van, the Wobasto control is right there. I open it. Now I make... tell me a little bit about the Wobasto. I don't know what that is. Oh, the Wabasto Eater is, uh, it's a German uh, company like Espar. I think they're, they're right in front of each other in Germany, <laughs> apparently. Okay. So Espar and um, Wabasto make those, the, the, what they call the Chinese diesel. We okay. hear that all the time. Well, they're, 
They are the copy of the Wabasto and the Espar. It takes a little bit of gas from your tank because I have a gas tank. I don't have diesel. Okay. And it there's an igniter and it starts, uh, there's a fan and it doesn't take too much uh, power. I have enough power with my solar setup to start all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a nice dry heat. It's not like uh, propane. So you don't have condensation. It's actually extremely dry. Now, uh, you are, where are you from? I'm from Montreal and uh, I, uh, I was tired of living in my condo. I didn't do much in the winter. I was watching Netflix and I was dreaming of having a teardrop trailer. And I was, you know, I had, I had been looking at all this, but never doing anything about it. And in 2017, after my mom died, I was like, wow, you can die in nine days you got to do something it's completely it it was like i felt like this was i had to do something different i was not happy i was not i didn't have like any uh i it's something i wanted to do for a long time and i was not doing it and at one point i was like if you don't do it now you'll never do it so, and so what inspired you to be actually in a van then as far as like oh. what made you think of a van versus doing something else well, that's kind of a, I was watching a lot of tiny houses. I wanted to have a tiny house at first. Mm -hmm. And when you watch a lot of YouTube video of tiny house, all of a sudden the, um, the van started to pop. And because I was also watching the teardrop trailer, I think that the algorithm of YouTube started to show me tiny vans. And I was like, oh my God, that's, that could be a, that, that's interesting. And I, the more I saw va vans that were outfitted and converted in 2018, it was like uh, the winter of 2018. And I was in Thailand and I hadn't, we couldn't get, I was working there for a month. Okay. And I had a lot of alone time. So I watched a lot of videos and I started to watch the conversion. And it was, I became completely, uh, <laughs> how do you say that when you're, enamored almost or, uh... obsessed oh, <laughs> you know okay. you watch you watch you watch you watch. Uh, yeah. I was like learning how do you do that and I was like trying to figure out if I could do it myself at first I thought I could do it myself and then I realized I've never held an hammer and <laughs> I don't know how to use a saw and so so who did your build then well in the summer when I bought the van I still didn't know what to do and somebody told me about a cabinet maker um a, a build a, he a, a woodworker in Montreal in Montreal so he, he said oh there's a guy at the back of my alley right in the middle of Montreal in downtown near one of the bridge you know not like an easy place to park at all and he didn't have like a a, a, a shop we were actually parking in the alley hmm. and this was from November to March. We didn't do an easy build. It was a That's build. Worst weather ever during yeah, that Yeah, it was really cold when I stained the wall, when I painted. I would have to go in parking lots where there was, uh, in parks where there, I would angle the van in the sun and then I would paint. Oh, okay. Then I'd go and I'd call him, can, do you think we can work today? Oh no, there's too much snow, the, the plows didn't come. So we'd wait another day and then it was it was a long build. Okay. So it took about a good six months, but I didn't have like the water tank. It took a year for the water tank. Oh, no kidding. So you just used bottles up until that point? Yeah, I couldn't find anyone to do the uh, plumbing. It was really hard to find somebody to do the plumbing. And so someone else end up, ended up doing that? Oh, every, uh, most of the things were done by different people. The first thing I did was to put the um, the window, the side window. Okay. It was done in one of those, uh, you know, when you get a chip, mm -hmm. <laughs> they installed the window. Then I had a guy that does the solar. He did also the fan. He did the fan and he did the, ma this is the Max Air and that's just a dometic vent. It is not a fan, but it makes that um, circulation at night. It Absolutely. works really well. And when I cook above that, so the, the steam rises up there and it, goes away and i don't cook with oil so nothing is greasy oh, i, I cook gotcha. i water saute uh so we mentioned solar uh how many watts do you have on top i have 300 watts of solar and uh i have two agm battery that are underneath the uh closet space on my bed okay and nope. i have an inverter that's like at the back there it's a 2000 watt inverter because oh. i have one 
One plug. That's my one plug. <laughs> okay. Everything goes through there. Yeah. I can pass through uh, any time. I wanted to be able to be able to leave quickly uh, from any campsite that felt, uh, because I boondock and, mm -hmm. you know, I've had moments where I've had weird people circle around the van and it's unpleasant and you just want to be able to leave as you go. Uh, you I so want... much counter space. This is amazing. Well, the, the reason that it feels very, uh, um, like I have a lot of counter space is that, first of all, there's no, I have to take out this to cook. It is a butane stove. It's from uh, Japan. It's actually uh, what they use uh, to cook their shibu shibu and stuff like that. Okay. I like it because it's it's a really good uh, distribution of heat. This one is a it's a little more expensive than those um, uh, ones that you find at the camping places, okay. but it's worth it because it's a well distributed heat. And I cook. I'm a serious cook. <laughs> Even though I don't cook meat, I cook a lot of things. Because I want to have a lot of counter space, I made him do uh, this cover. And then I have, it's, it's basically an Ikea sink and they come with these inserts that are really practical. See? Oh, that's nice. It's a good size sink. It's not too deep. It's not, too, uh, uh, it's not the deepest. I didn't need the deepest sink ever. And I also have these insert that I put I don't know if you're gonna, I have like a little rod here and I've put like, this is my, uh, my thermos. I always make hot water to clean myself in the morning and I keep it in here. Oh, nice. This is to cover the dog bowl uh, and I have my uh, dish rag. Yeah, it's a nice little setup. And when I eat a lot of kale, I need to clean my kale. So I clean my kale in there. That's perfect. perfect. And I don't wash with my hair with that, but what I do is I have a little plastic thing here and, oops, <laughs> what I do is, let's put this here. I have this uh, portable shower with, um, it's a little foot pump. Oh yeah. And it's one of those bags, you know, like when you go kayaking and you pump it and there's like, you know, it's it's got a stopping mechanism so you don't, you put hot water in it and you can wash your hair comfortably. I don't really have a, sh a shower enclosure. So what I do is I go to, uh, I was, I had a Planet Fitness membership, but it's too complicated to get it back now because I, anyway, it's complicated. And um, because I'm not in my country. So what happened is I go to truck stop. Now it looks like you have a water filter on top. Oh yeah, the Berkey. Yeah, I've the never Berkey. seen one that small. Yeah, that's the, that's the sports Berkey. And when you buy it, it comes with, it comes with a bottle. That's how it comes. And there's no spout. And oh, how do you get water out of there then? You have to always remove it. It's a little bit, it's not as practical. I wish there was a tiny spout on it. Uh, it has made it difficult right now. I, I, I need to reprime it and I didn't prime it. And so you have to put the water in the top, it goes to the bottom. You put the you water just... in the top, it doesn't make much water. I don't know if you can see how much. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually easier to use their bottle, which actually has another filter. Oh. So I've been using the bottle a lot more than, but it comes together. This is the kit. The Nova Cool is from uh, BC. I think they're made in BC and there's a latch here so it doesn't open. We've changed the cover. I didn't want to have the plastic cover. And uh, basically oh, a lot of room. it's very roomy. That That's a 12 volt fridge. Very it good. runs off of the solar and it doesn't take much uh, energy. It's like all those uh, Dometics and uh, okay. it's pretty much the same. This is pretty much my seat because I have the view. Yo, that makes sense. <laughs> of course. All right. And. Uh, and so then you convert it into your bathroom. Do you want to show us how to do that? Yeah, I, I took the cushions from an old Ikea chair. That was the measurement for the seat. Okay. When I decided to uh, uh, have the dinette, you know, we were talking about how, which, um, how big do you want it? I wanted the size of that Ikea chair. Because <laughs> those cushions are actually in uh, sheep. That's the nature's head composting toilet. And uh, so, I have all my dry goods in here. 
like uh, you know beans and uh, coffee uh, oatmeal I needed more so I got this thing from IKEA uh, it's like a little drawer thing and I just store it like that here and it's full of art supply <laughs> I nice. managed to put a lot of things in a small space like that. And my lagoon table uh, flips. I, either I can have someone over and we have Two a seats. meal. Very nice. This is my lamp, my working lamp. It's a USB lamp and it's when I work at night, when I draw, it's perfect. I have a bug spray, a, a bug uh, net. Because there's so much bugs in Quebec. Oh, yeah. It's a little, it, the Northeast is very, uh, difficult in spring because we have it's not comfortable with the bugs it's not like the west it's worse and this goes up i won't pull it up all the way up but i'll show you the underbelly of the oh, wow. that's the underbelly of the van <laughs> <laughs> so i have i have a lot of it's a toy hauler <laughs> yeah, absolutely Natalie, thank you so much for the beautiful tour of your van. I absolutely loved it. I love the simple design. Thank you. Yeah, and again, there's just so many little parts of it that I think are important. And you said uh, comfort is, was really important to you, right? Yes, comfort is really important to me. I saw this uh, van tour one day of a guy named Lee, and he said he had greatly underestimated his need for comfort, and he had to do his van build three times. Yeah, and a lot of people do that. They have multiple builds, so. That's in excellent. the same one. Yeah, looks like you nailed it with this one, though. Kind of. Okay. I just miss my studio. That's the of one course. thing that I'm missing. But you can't, I, I have, I couldn't fit a studio in there. I no. think I have a, as much as I could. Yes, and, and you do, you utilize the space very well, and I think that's very impressive. So. Thank you. Yeah. Folks out there, thank you so much for watching the video today and joining us on this tour. Uh, what did you think of the build? What was your favorite part? Please let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us some love. And until next time, we'll see you guys down the road. Bye, guys. Thank you.